It's been more than a week since the opening of the December extra session, but rival parties remain at loggerheads over pending bills. The presidential office has been upping the pressure on the lawmaking body, with the opposition bloc accusing it of infringing upon the assembly's intrinsic right to legislate. Jim Young Gil tells us more. The ruling's Henry Party is getting impatient, fearing that they might come out empty handed again by failing to pass urgent bills in this month's extra session. If we fail to pass bills on reforming Korea's labor market, promoting the service industry, and revitalizing our economy, the livelihoods of the middle class would be at risk. We sincerely urge the opposition to cooperate. With no progress on pending bills at the National Assembly, the presidential office of Chong Ade has been demanding lawmakers to do their legislative duties. Chong Ade has also tried to influence the Assembly Speaker to use his authority to table certain bills for parliamentary endorsement. The move has drawn harsh criticism from the main opposition, New Politics Alliance for Democracy. Now the president is blaming the National Assembly and even accusing the Assembly Speaker of not doing his job. This violates the principle of separation of powers among the three branches of government and infringes upon the Assembly's intrinsic right to legislate. The MPD responded to the president's request by claiming that her economic bills were flawed. They emphasized that the labor reform bills would make it easier for companies to fire workers and increase the number of irregular workers because employment contracts will be extended from the current two years to four years. As the parliamentary deadlock continues, rival party leaders will meet on Sunday to try and reach a compromise on contentious issues, including readjusting electoral boundaries and a counterterrorism bill. Shim Young-gil, Arirang News.